White is certainly a color that stands out. And because of that fact, it's somewhat uncommon to see white animals out in nature. However, as you'll see in a moment, the white creatures you do happen upon will almost certainly be unforgettable. Here are some of the most beautiful white animals found in nature. Number 1. Beluga Whale. Though beluga is the most common name for this species, it is also recognized as the white whale. Another less commonly used name is the sea canary, given because the whale communicates using very high-pitched, song-like calls. Some people even call it the melonhead, but that name more properly refers to the melon-headed whale. Number 2. Silky Chicken. The silky is a truly special breed of chicken. It's incredibly amicable and loves people, so it makes an excellent pet. Its unique feathers have a soft, silk-like feel. The silky is also useful to those who raise other breeds of chicken. Since silky hens are quite broody, they can hatch and care for the chicks of other species as well. Number 3. Camargue Horse. The Camargue Horse has lived in the Camargue region for hundreds, and maybe even thousands, of years. It has developed impressive strength and agility, so it also makes a good riding horse. The herds today live in semi-feral conditions, and they are registered in a stud book to help preserve the breed's integrity. Number 4. Mountain Goat. Despite its name, the mountain goat is not considered to be a true goat, it is not a member of the Capra genus. Its closest relatives are Tarquines, animals that look like a mix of a wildebeest and a goat, and chamois, animals that look like a mix of an antelope and a goat. Number 5. Snowy Owl. This unique bird is among the largest owls in the world. And while it may not be the absolute largest, it is the only primarily white owl species. Unfortunately, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, currently classifies it as a species that is vulnerable to extinction. Number 6. Giant Gourami. Thanks to its beauty and impressive size, the Giant Gourami is a fish that tends to be somewhat popular in the aquarium trade. However, if it's kept with other species, it's critical that they are similarly large. Gouramis can be aggressive and may attack or kill smaller fish. Number 7. Harp Seal. Though it's not in any danger of extinction, the harp seal is widely hunted. Inuit living within its range hunt it for subsistence, but it also is commercially hunted. Commercial hunting mostly happens in Norway, Greenland, Russia, and Canada. Number 8. Eucystic Texas Rat Snake. The Texas Rat Snake has a few interesting color mutations that occur naturally. High orange, hypomelanistic, albino, and leucistic snakes occur. The leucistic ones have become somewhat popular pets, though they can secrete a horrible smelling musk if disturbed. Number 9. Pine White Butterfly. Unless you're a butterfly expert, you may have some trouble telling this butterfly apart from closely related species. It looks quite similar to other members of its genus. Even more confusingly, some of these species have overlapping ranges. Number 10. White Persian Cat. Did you know there are two main types of Persian cat? The older type is called the traditional or doll face Persian. It has facial features similar to those of other cats. The newer type is peak faced, so it has a face that is essentially flat. Even though this type of face causes respiratory issues, some cat associations have made it part of the Persian breed standard. Number 11. Polar Bear. The massive polar bear is the apex predator of the Arctic. However, on occasion, an orca will spot a swimming polar bear and attack it. Polar bears do sometimes take extended swims, the longest recorded one was 220 miles. Number 12. Blank de Hotot Rabbit. This cute rabbit breed is recognized by both the American Rabbit Breeders Association and the British Rabbit Council. However, the American Livestock Conservancy considers the breed to be threatened. It was initially developed in France as a rabbit suitable for both fur production and meat. However, it was also bred for its very distinctive coloration. Number 13. Albino Alligator. The name alligator is an unusual one, and experts believe it may be an anglicized form of a Spanish term. 
Spanish settlers and explorers called the alligator El Legato, meaning the lizard. Number 14. Woolly Aphid. Woolly aphids usually won't completely destroy a plant, but they can cause damage that looks especially unsightly. They do this by latching onto various parts of the plant and sucking out sap. In many cases, colonies of these bugs just make the affected foliage on trees and other plants look brownish. But in some cases, infested trees may be predisposed to fungal infections. Number 15. White Tern. This magical looking bird is sometimes called the Fairy Tern, though it also may be called the Angel Tern, the White Noddy, or the Manoke. Okay. In 2007, it was named the official bird of Honolulu, Hawaii. Number 16. Dumbo Rat. This easygoing rat is the most commonly kept species of rat. You can find it used as a lab rat and kept as a pet. The Dumbo Rat has been bred in many colors and coat types. Like some other animals, it can be found with a rexed coat or a plush coat that is very soft to the touch. Number 17. White Tiger. The white tiger is sometimes referred to as the bleached tiger. Its leucistic gene is a recessive one, so this color most commonly occurs when a population becomes inbred. In captivity, breeders often end up inbreeding white tigers in order to keep producing tigers with the same color. Number 18. Ivory Gull. The ivory gull has a special place in the world of children's literature. Hollying Sea, Hollying's book Seabird features a carving of an ivory gull. The book won the Newbury Medal. Unfortunately, the population of this remarkable bird is in some danger. The IUCN currently classifies it as being near threatened. Experts believe that a reduction in sea ice as well as an increase in hunting may be responsible for its population decline. Number 19. Virginian Tiger Moth. If this moth doesn't look familiar, you might have seen its caterpillar before. The Virginian tiger moth caterpillar is known as the yellow woolly bear caterpillar. That's because it's covered in yellow fuzz. It's generally not a good idea to handle caterpillars or adults. The spiny hairs on the caterpillars can cause dermatitis, while the adults produce a substance that causes an allergic reaction in some people. Number 20. Japanese rice fish. This unique little fish is often known as the midaka. It's a hardy fish that doesn't take up much aquarium space, so it's somewhat popular as an aquarium pet. In some areas, you may be able to find genetically engineered individuals that are bright green, red, or yellow. However, these transgenic fish cannot legally be sold in the EU. Number 21. Arctic Wolf. In some parts of its range, the Arctic Wolf is not afraid of people, probably because it rarely sees humans. However, since there are some documented cases of this wolf being aggressive to humans, it's not a great idea to approach it. Number 22. White Park Cattle. This breed developed in Great Britain, where it is currently most common. Historically, it has been extremely useful, as it was bred and kept for milk, meat, and draft use. In the UK, a breeding program has been established to ensure the future of the White Park. Number 23. Salt Marsh Moth Many of the plants this moth feeds on contain toxic alkaloids, but the moth is not harmed by them. Research has indicated that it actually has taste receptors for these alkaloids, and it can even turn them into sex hormones. Number 24. Cattle Egret Most people associate egrets with marshy areas, but the cattle egret is uniquely adapted to feeding on land. Wetland egrets have the ability to visually correct for water's light refraction when feeding. But since cattle egrets have evolved to feed on land, they have lost this ability. Number 25. Koi fish. The koi fish is an effectively domesticated version of the Amor carp. Pure white individuals are especially beautiful, but they are at risk of predation in outdoor ponds. Predators, including herons and domestic cats, can see them easily against the dark water. In some cases, pond owners elect to place nets over ornamental ponds to protect the fish. Number 26. Delicate Signia Moth. This beautiful moth is also sometimes called the dogbane tiger moth, as it often feeds on dogbane. Unlike most moth species, it's capable of producing ultrasonic clicks. 
Researchers aren't entirely sure why the moths do this, but it may be in order to disrupt the echolocation signals of feeding bats. Number 27. Snowy Egret. Though the snowy egret is not considered to be threatened or at risk for extinction, its populations reached dangerously low levels in the early 1900s. Its feathers were incredibly popular in hat making, so it was extensively hunted for its plumes. In 1910, the trade of its feathers was banned. Eventually, Central America and South America followed suit, and the population gradually rebounded. Number 28. Silverleaf Whitefly. This small, delicate bug is actually capable of doing a whole lot of damage. For example, within five years of its introduction to Texas and California, it has caused more than $100 million in crop damage. Number 29. Dogo Argentino. The Dogo Argentino is a remarkable-looking dog bred primarily for the hunting of wild boar. However, it also has been bred to be loyal to its owner and protective if necessary. While its white coloration is beautiful, it is genetically linked to deafness. It's possible that up to 10% of all Dogo's Argentinos are deaf in one or both ears. Number 30. Bristlenose Pleco. These fish are especially useful aquarium pets. They feed on algae and can help keep your aquarium clean. They are easy to breed and can live up to 12 years in captivity. Number 31. Siberian Hamster. This hamster is sometimes called the Winter White Dwarf Hamster or the Russian Dwarf Hamster. It's a fairly popular pet in Japan, Europe, and North America, and it's easy to keep in captivity. However, it is unfortunately prone to developing tumors, and its sensitive cheek pouch can be easily damaged by sharp objects. Number 32. Arctic Hare. Though the Arctic Hare is an herbivore, it will very occasionally eat animal matter. It's been observed feeding on fish and carrion. Since it lives in such frozen areas, it eats snow in order to get water. Since there isn't much food available in its habitat, it has evolved to have a low metabolic rate that allows it to conserve energy. Number 33. Margined White Butterfly. Like many North American butterfly species, this one is quite adaptable when it comes to habitat. It can be spotted flying and feeding from the early months of the year through August. Number 34. White-tailed ptarmigan. This beautiful bird has several unique adaptations to help it survive in bitterly cold temperatures. Its feet are feathered to protect it from the cold. It even has feathering around the nostrils in order to warm up the air before it breathes it in. Number 35. Ermine. The coat of the ermine, especially the winter coat, has long been used in the fur trade. In Europe in particular, ermine furs are connected to high status. They are often used to trim ceremonial robes. Number 36. Black Spotted Puffer. This cute fish contains tetrodotoxin, a deadly poison that helps to protect it from predators. But it has another adaptation to protect itself, too. Like other puffer fish, it can inflate itself with air or water to intimidate potential predators. Number 37. Bleached earless lizard. This lizard's unusually white habitat consists of sand made of gypsum crystals. The field of white dunes in and around the park extends over 275 square miles. The sand itself is up to 30 feet deep. Number 38. White fallow deer. This deer's name refers to its typically light brown color. However, in Serbia and Croatia, its name translates to shovel deer thanks to the odd shape of its antlers. Number 39. Leucistic Peacock. Peafowl are native to India, but their beauty has made them a popular ornamental bird across much of the world. Though the leucistic variant is present in nature, it also is deliberately bred in captivity. Number 40. Oscar Fish. This fish is beautiful and popular in the aquarium hobby. However, it tends to be very aggressive toward other fish. Often, it will claim a portion of the aquarium and then attack fish that come too close to it. Number 41. White Yak. Yaks are extremely well adapted to cold environments, making them great working animals in snowy mountains. Their hearts and lungs are larger than those of regular cattle, and they are much better equipped to transport oxygen in the blood. 
They have almost no working sweat glands and a very thick layer of subcutaneous fat, too. Number 42. Arctic Fox. The Arctic Fox is easily one of the most famous Arctic animals. Its compact body and small ears make it look almost cat-like. When at rest, it wraps its tail around its face and tucks its legs under its body to conserve body heat. 